in the kingdom of God. Every topic here is about the kingdom of God. You learn here what is the kingdom, anything about the kingdom of God. Because the vision of this chart is to make his kingdom known. Amen. Today, as we follow and continue to learn about the seven commands of God, we are in the 36th command, which is honor our parents and also the fifth commandment in the ten commandments of God. Today, we got to learn why Lord Jesus Today we're going to learn why Lord Jesus answered this law of commandments when they are criticized by these religious leaders. Mm -hmm. Why he did not take another law, but why this one? Mm -hmm. But we will focus the reason of the law, the purpose of the law. What is the purpose of the law? Why he established this law? That's our focus for today. But before we start, since we are talking about the what is the kingdom of God? The kingdom of God, I want you to understand this, because every word in this Definition is very important. Mm. The kingdom of God is about sovereign rulership and the governing authority of a king over his territory, impacting his will, intent and purpose, and that purpose and will produces a community of citizens that expressing. A culture, remember, culture Amen. that reflect the nature of a lifestyle of the people. That is wow. the kingdom. Amen. We, as a citizen, we have to express and reflect this. Let's do a little bit of history. A long time ago, when we are not existing, God was existing. And then he established, he established his kingdom where? In heaven. One of his disciples saw what his kingdom looked like. His palace is very, very beautiful. It says there that the world is full of dreams. The things that we fight here is just only a dust dirt. Good. And who wants to belong to that kingdom? You don't need, you do not have any problem for financing. You just get the dust and you're good. Yes. So this king wants to extend his kingdom in the other realm, yeah. which is the visible realm. But his plan is establishing his kingdom without coming in that realm. That realm is called earth. Okay? Yeah. He wants to establish his kingdom, but he will do it without coming there. That's why he sent his offspring. And when he sent his offspring, the purpose of his offspring is not to establish, listen to this, palace, buildings, or anything, but establish a culture. Yes. 
that is the very purpose of his offspring. That culture will create world. That's why he said he loves the world. That's why he sent his only son to restore that world. But the problem is this jobless children set up spoil his plan, mess up his plan. Now the world become chaotic. And then he try another plan. He chose a nation to represent him. And that's the strategy. Okay? Do a little bit of history. To make story short, when he decided to build up this nation, he rescued him in the hands of Egyptians. Now, we know that Israel is lived there for 200 years. When they come out of Egypt, what do you think are they thinking? Okay? They think like an Egyptian. Yes. And God wants to restore them, but the problem is they are not willing. And God decides, I want to use this man, but their state of mind cannot. Now, since these people are super needed, okay, I am God, I will establish a law that become a standard of their living. Exodus 20. This is how you live for these people. Now, if you read Exodus 20, the first four commandments there is about that. And when it's time to establish a commandments for man, the first one is honoring our parents. And read this Ten Commandments again, the only, the only commandments that has a promise, that this one. The only commandments that has a promise, read Exodus 20. Honor your father and your mother, so that you may be the law. Why this one is very important is when this is the top when he established the law for people. This is the top one because this is the fifth one. But during the time there are a lot of windows there that was abandoned by the children. And in ancient history, that the risk widows is uh, no the children is the one who are responsible for their parents. So the widow there, if they are abandoned by the uh, kids, then it's, it's hard for them to live. And then God said, them, "This is not the world. This is not the culture I want to establish in this realm." So he established a law so we can obey this law and our life will be right standing in his will. But the problem with these people, they are so hard. These religious people, you know, these religious people is the one who always miss the kingdom of God. They try to do, they, they try to build their own man-made laws. The things become, I don't know if I'm right, the thing becomes family. Imagine that, you live in a family and you can you memorize that? And that law, we call it tradition. So 
when the Lord Jesus Christ arrived on earth, his people was in, in a worst state. That's why he cried. Did you who read the Bible that Jesus Christ cried once for his life? Why? Because he, he wants to build these people to be represented in the world. But it's really failure. These people is really failure. So one day, there was a time that they are eating, and then maybe they are tired or very hungry. They just eat and they never wash their eyes. And the Pharisee criticized. He says, Why do your disciples transgress the tradition, okay? Tradition. Of the elders. For they, they do not wash their hands when they eat bread. Because it's a tradition for Israel, you know, it's a hygiene tradition. You need to wash your hands for uh, the and you know in their law washing hands is also worship. That is their act of worship, worshiping God, washing hands, uh, cleaning the you know the utensils that we use in the temple. And he answered, look at his answer. Why do you also transgress? The command of God because of your traditions. A lot of denomination now, you know, following traditions and they shut down the kingdom of God. For God commanded you, saying, Honor your father and your mother, and he who causes father or mother, let him be. That is a very, very important command because it will cost it. But he said, but you say, okay, it is not the Lord who said, he said, okay, whoever sees says to his father or mother, whatever profit you might have received from me is a gift from God, then we need not own his father or mother. Thus you have made the commandment of God and not a faith by your tradition. In other words, their thinking are different. Really. They have a lot of excuses not to help their mother, their parents. They have a lot of excuses not to support their parents. It happens now? It happens? We have a lot of excuses. I, one of them, one before. Yes, I have a lot of excuses. I'm working abroad. My parents, we have a good family, but you know, as a showing you love your parents, you have to yes. give something for them. They know, you, they know they are, they are thinking different because for them, if you are walking abroad, you have blood. <laughs> yes, that's the middle of the Filipino. You have a lot. So if they cannot receive, if they won't receive something, then they're thinking, my son, forget me. <laughs> so I have a lot of excuses to go. So to make this one understanding, I use Mark. Do you know that Mark is the first book in the first, in the New Testament? So I use Mark to why he is very angry for this. 
But for said, for Moses said, honor your father and mother, and anyone who curses their father or mother is to put to death. But you say that anyone declares that what might have been used to help their father or mother is covered. Then you no longer let them do anything for their father or mother. This covenant is the very big excuse for this people. A covenant means, like for example, I have a lamb or a man. I will go to the temple until to the maybe the one who was in the treasury or maybe the high priest. This is Corban. Corban means it's consecrated to God. The temple will use that one, but they will not own that one. You still own it. You will get it back in the year of Jubilee. The, that's early excuse. Man, instead this is for you, I will give it to the Lord. And the teachers of law and the policies teachers it is okay not to help your parents anymore. Look at the ones. They use Koban as an excuse. We also have many excuses. The point here is excuses. You mom asking something. Mom, I'm sorry, mom. I use money for this. <laughs> now, why parents is very important. The Bible says what you see in a visible is the copy of that is visible. It is impossible for you to see I love God and you hate your mother. You don't honor your mother in possible. <laughs> and you know, if your character is like this, this is you look at your face like this, you are happy. He says, you are hypocrites. You see, you love me, but you don't honor your parents. That is impossible. Okay. He said, hypocrites. When did Isaiah prophesy about you saying, these people draw near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me and in bed me. It is possible that crying, you kneel down, and God, that is empty. That is possible. It's possible. Why? Because of what? We did. It is your action. It's the matter to me. How you act, the situation, how you act according to the culture that I want to establish, or you act by your own. Remember, he wants to build a culture. He said, they honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Now, that word heart, I will quick now because every time you read in the Bible or you tell about her, you point here. Yes, this is hard. But what is the function of this guy? Only your God. Nothing else. Please. Okay? This is the heart of the Bible. He worship me, but the set of truths is far from me. He worship me, but their mind is 
far from me. Their understanding is far from me. Is it possible that you're worshiping here, but you're thinking differently? You cry out, not because you feel the worship, you cry out because you miss the game. <laughs> it is, it means how is your thinking when you draw near to one? Is your thinking he said, blessed is the pure in heart, means pure in thoughts. Okay? Honor, what is honor? Honor. Honor is just a result. Present. It's a result of what? Love? Yeah. Yes. Okay? Now we are now the business. That's just our introduction. <laughs> yes. Love! Whoa! What is love? You know, lots of definition about love. Okay. Let's get it to the points. We are created in this image. The image of God. Agree? Yeah. And the Bible says, God is. Love. He don't have love. He is. Love. So wherever I go, He is love. And He designed you like that. I will give you an example. This condition, love is His nature. Nature means natural. Wherever it's good, it's natural for him. That air condition, the function of that one is to get a cold temperature, right? Okay, and that is natural function. If you cross this one, or under that one, is this one still produce cold temperature? If you're very angry this one and you don't like this one, is this air condition still can produce? Yes. Why? Because it's natural. That's why he says, even your enemy, you have to learn. Because it is natural for you. When they cause you, the slab will flow up. Because it's natural for you. When you go to your parents, it's natural for you to honor them because you are love. You don't have love. You are love. You created yeah. like him. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Even your enemy calls you. My nature is love. You will see love. Like the air condition. Even you are very angry as well. This one still is. <laughs> <laughs> Even you pass this one, same with you. It's not you, it's the same with you. If anybody calls you, get angry with you, you still produce this love. Because it is your nature. That's why the Bible says it is impossible. You see, I love God, but you hate your God. It means you are not functioning your natural way. Amen. Wow. Manufacturing, yes. It needs repair. Yes. If this air condition will not produce a poor temperature, because you need to repair as well. If you don't honor your father and your mother 
And you see, you love God, you need repair, my brain. <laughs> yes, that's true. Yes. That's why He commands to love our enemy because it is natural yes. for us. Yes. It means you can do it. It is yes. in you. Okay? <coughs> what is what is the purpose? Well, I will end this one. <laughs> what is the purpose of all these laws and commandments? Really why? In the beginning, when Adam is in the you know, in the presence of God, there are no ten commandments there. I know this one. And when we miss up, now there comes the law. What is the purpose of this laws? Do you know that laws create culture? Amen. USA, when the stuff is a law that we allow to marry same sex culture. Uh, same, same, same six merits, their culture changes. Yes. Because law creates culture. Mm -hmm. Now, just imagine you are the Ten Commandments. Who you are? You are cool. The law is to create a culture of rights. That is his purpose. Because we are supposed to function like him, but we mess up our mind. So since we are hard-hitting, I will establish a law until everything fulfilled. The Bible says. So if you obey righteousness, my friend, I will tell you, Righteousness, it means right standing in the very will of God. And that law is His will. So He wants to create. Our purpose here is to create a culture, a world, a world that is full of love. Because that is His nature. If this church have a division, then this church is not functional. You see, you love God, but you don't like to talk this one because it, you don't feel it. That is your brother, my friend. That is your sister. Why you don't like to talk to him? You say you love God, but you feel like I don't like this man. I don't like this girl. Division or one village, and we are creating the culture of heaven. What do you think that means is when people try to visit? They will say, Well, I feel like I'm in heaven. Yes. Peace. Wow, it's peace. Yeah. I feel like My friend, the purpose of this one is to create the culture. We have a father in heaven. If you cannot honor your earthly parents, it's impossible for you to honor. One is obey the commands. The Bible says, God 
Lord Jesus, as man, fulfilled the law. How he did it? By obedience, all the commandments in his life. The people see how obedient he is. And Jesus Christ did not come here to show us that he is God. He showed us that who we are. That is the kingdom of God. Yeah. So if you learn more in this kingdom, enroll in our classes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you. That's all. Good.